it is a beautiful temple, Ahab. A beautiful temple for a beautiful queen. I hope now you won't be so homesick for Phoenicia. Here you can worship your god Baal whenever you desire. And perhaps you will finally embrace your new home with me here in Israel. Hmm. Is Baal to be worshipped by me alone, Ahab? Because I grow weary of your people's talk of there being only one true god. Your god is being worshipped throughout all of Israel, my queen. King Ahab! Who dares speak to the king of Israel this way? It is Elijah, prophet of the Lord! You have done evil in the sight of the Lord. You have built temples and altars to the false god Baal, and have done more to make the Lord God of Israel angry than any king of Israel before you! Prophet, you I are- I am the servant of the living Lord, the God of Israel, and I swear in his name that it won't rain except at my word. <laughs> There won't even be any dew on the ground. I don't need your god for rain, prophet. Do you really think him a match for Baal, the god of weather? Increase the sacrifices until Baal hears our pleas for rain. Then bring me the man responsible for this drought. And if you find any other prophets of the Lord, kill them! Search everywhere, but find Elijah. Obsessed? I'm depressed. You're not obsessed? You mean it's perfectly normal to spend every waking hour playing this game so your friends and family in the la, real la, la, world la, 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 barely la, la, la. see you anymore? You're obsessed. <laughs> I don't expect you to understand, Joy, but Giz does, and we're going back in. Level 17, here we come! All right! Uh oh! Superbook! No, not now. I have to get back to level 17! I am taking you to meet a man who led an entire nation away from their false gods and back to the one true living God. Almost got it. God. According to my geosensors, we are in the northern kingdom of Israel, approximately 850 BC. And my thermal sensors indicate it has not rained here in over three years. Wow, that's a long time to go without rain. Oh, hello. Hello. Uh-oh. I have got oh, you! Oh, oh, oh. oh, I'm sorry, are you all right? 
What were you doing up in the tree? I could not believe I found figs in the middle of this drought. But when I heard voices, I panicked because I thought you were with King Ahab. And why are you afraid of him? He and Queen Jezebel want to capture and kill my master. Why? Who is your master? He is Elijah, prophet of the Lord. And who are you, our young friends? Hi, I'm Joy. I'm Chris. And I'm Gizmo. I see you've already met Tobiah. Come, you can join us. So, where are we going? To meet King Ahab. Um, isn't he the one who wants you dead? Mm-hmm. And we're going to meet him? Mm-hmm. Okay, dumb question. Why? I've got a challenge for him. A contest. Israel has been worshipping the false god Baal. The Lord will prove that he and he alone is the one true, all-powerful god. If he's all-powerful, why doesn't he end this drought? He will. Really? When? Soon. But first, Israel must turn away from their false gods and back to the Lord God, the creator of the universe. Elijah, now what about Baal? What kind of powers does he have? Powers? Yeah, you know, can he control the rain or shoot lightning, control time, replenish health points? What? They take a rock, carve it into an idol and call it God. But it is still just a rock shaped by human hands. The idols have mouths but cannot speak, and eyes but cannot see. Anyone who makes and trusts in them will end up as helpless as the idols are. Elijah! Oh no, let me guess. That is Ahab? <laughs> No trouble for Israel. You and your family are the troublemakers. You have refused to obey the commands of the Lord and have worshipped the images of Baal instead. Call together everyone from Israel to meet me at Mount Carmel. Be sure to bring along the 450 prophets of Baal who eat at Jezebel's table. seen this many people before. Why is the king called every tribe of Israel here today? I heard it was Elijah the prophet who summoned us. Elijah? <laughs> He's in hiding. No one has heard from him in years. Hear me, O oh Lord. Hear me so these people will know that you are the Lord God and that you will turn their hearts back to you. I'm not certain what Elijah has in mind, but I trust you will be up for the challenge. My king, we fear neither Elijah nor his god. Is an idol of Baal. What if they brought more than one god, Elijah? I mean, they could form an alliance and gang up on you. <laughs> Chris, being on the Lord's side is all you have to worry about, not whether their side is bigger. How much longer will you try to have things both ways? Look! Is that Elijah? How is this possible? He is alive.
If the Lord is God, worship him. But if Baal is God, worship him. I am the only prophet of the Lord who is left. But Baal has 450 prophets. 450 versus one? Elijah doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> Bring us two bulls. Baal's prophets can take one of them. Then they can put the meat on the wood without lighting the fire. I will do the same thing with the other bull. And I won't light a fire under it either. And you call on the name of your gods. I will pray to the Lord. The God who answers by setting fire to the wood is the true God. Fire, huh? Yeah, I was almost God of fire. This contest would have been over in no time. Obsessed. You go first. There are many of you.
Nothing happened. Not even a spark. Come near to me. jars with water and pour the water over the offering and the wood. not set fire to a dry altar, how is the Lord God supposed to set fire to an altar that is soaking wet? Yeah, why is he complicating things? Their God was a no-show. We just need a little smoke or something and we win. But no, he has to go drench everything with water. Oh, Lord. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Prove today that you are God in Israel and that I am your servant. Prove that I have done all this at your command, O Lord. Answer me. Answer me so these people will know that you, O Lord, are God and that you have brought them back to yourself. if I hadn't seen it happen with my own eyes. It is Superbook! We are going home. Hey, Alec. Hey, Chris. We're setting up a no-holds-barred Battleverse of the Gods tournament. No mortals allowed. And we want you on our team this time. What do you say? Thanks, Alec, but I'm gonna pass. I think I'm gonna try to let the one true lord worry about how to be God, and I'm gonna worry about how to best follow him. Uh, not really sure what you're talking about, 
but let me know if you change your mind. Later. Quit it, Giz, stop. What are you doing, Giz? He threw out a Hollow Nine game, so I am trying to find out who this is and what he did with the real Chris Quantum. Hey, Chris. What? Wait, Gizmo, Gizmo, stop. Chris, cut that out. Gizmo. And Elijah went up to the top of Carmel. Then he bowed down on the ground. Then he said to his servant, Go and look out toward the sea. Seven times Elijah told him to go look. Finally, the seventh time, the servant saw a small cloud. There is a cloud as small as a man's hand rising out of the sea! <laughs> Tell Ahab to get his chariot ready and start for home now. Otherwise, the rain will stop him. Smile.